here I am testing the Brute Q1200 Aerial Surveillance or Search and Rescue Drone version. That means we will not be doing any payload on this one for the cameras like video cameras, HD cameras, camera gimbals, etc. etc. We will mount a very small camera right here or a small camera gimbal like Seeker 450s and which can actually tilt downwards all the way to get a bird's eye view. And we can use its enormous capability of uh, payload carrying to mount some more uh, gadgets or some more sensors, cameras, FPV systems, etc. etc. Now, carrying those lightweight gadgets, this thing can actually fly pretty long. At the moment, it's hovering, but if you look at the radio, I'm flying it for 21 minutes plus. So, 2130, I'm flying it for this long. Right now, I'm hovering because I need to talk, but actually, I was flying it around on GPS position hold mode at a very good speed of... Uh, say 30 kilometer an hour or so and I was also doing some stunts like uh, going around or circular motions and head down and circle around to look at an object and stuff like that so uh, say right now we don't have any payload and it's flying this long time 22 minutes without any sign of low batteries at the moment I have turned off the low voltage protection on the uh, WKM and I'm relying on those low voltage buzzers on these batteries. So uh, at the moment, of course, batteries are not showing anything like low battery, but I know at the moment my batteries are running low on 22 minutes flight. If you look at here, I can see 3.6, 3.6, all 14.4 volts. And my maximum should be uh, to punish the batteries 14.1 volts these are 5000 milliamp 4s batteries 2p that means two batteries tied in parallel and uh, let's say with some uh, little cameras and gadgets payload i'm sure this can give us a very good 20 minutes flight time and that makes it a very good tool for aerial surveillance, search and rescue mission, etc. Well, this can carry a good payload, so we can still add one more battery possibly, or two more batteries. Keeping in mind, we don't want to actually increase the payload and decrease the flight time. But using two 5000 milliamp 4 s if we can get this much flight time, adding some gadgets, lightweight gadgets, GoPro camera, FTV system will not reduce anything I believe or let's say give or take one or two minutes. It's still you get 20 minutes of flight time in your hand, 22 minutes, that's not bad. That's really really not bad. And this one, now you can hear the beep, 24 minutes. So 24 minutes not a bad time for aerial surveillance or uh, search and rescue we can say uh, safely we can say let's say we have 12 minutes to drop some supplies to a survivor or let's say we have 15 minutes to 20 minutes to actually survey the area or use this thing for aerial surveillance well that will conclude my today's test I still have to test 2x 4s 9000 MAH that means 18,000 milliamp juice to this baby to see how long I can fly right now I'm very cold I want to go home and eat something enjoy and I'll post more results soon